Ah, pasta carbonara. This was my first ever pasta dish that I ever created. 13 years old, home economics class, partnered with a girl named Jolene. It was certainly something special. The way that pasta just folded into those eggs. Right, pasta carbonara. Very simple but controversial pasta dish. Simple because it has five key ingredients and controversial because if you ask any Italian around preferences on ingredients, you will hear no end. We have one, two, three, four, five key ingredients in carbonara. Eggs, Parmigiano Reggiano, black pepper, guanciale, and fresh pasta. Today, I'm gonna use tagliatelle. It's important to use the freshest of these type of ingredients. The first part I'm gonna do is create the carbonara sauce, which is made from eggs. Just create one egg yolk. All right, drop one egg yolk. And I'm gonna put the whole egg in here if you want that kind of extra oomph to it, then by all means, just add more yolk to egg ratio. Next up, we're gonna add some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese to the mixture. Just a liberal amount. I think you keep going until you can't see your eggs anymore. That's the rule of thumb that I go with. Sprinkle of black pepper. And then what we wanna do is give these little bad boys a little whisk. Don't overdo it, just quickly beat it until the mixture is mixed in. Now that the mixture is done, I'm gonna actually do something a little bit different and just introduce an egg yolk confit to put on top of the pasta. Put some olive oil. What's this thing called again? Ramekin. I'm gonna fill this ramekin with olive oil so that it will cover almost all of the egg yolk, if not everything. Next up is the guanciale. Guanciale is actually the cured meat of a pig's cheek or jowl. And you'll see just the beautiful amount of fat here and meat. Some people prefer to use pancetta. Some people prefer to use guanciale. I personally prefer guanciale just because it has a little bit more or that much more fat coated. Carbonara only has five ingredients, so you're reliant on essentially one ingredient to give it a lot of its flavor, and that's the guanciale. It's fairly thin sliced chunks, and what I don't want to do is have it too thick, then all you taste is just the, the guanciale. I want it more to complement the pasta and the egg. All right, check this out. Look at that beautiful fat coming through the half fat half meat I think that's the, the ideal proportion that you want to see in a guanciale oh man check this out how oily my hands are just from cutting the guanciale that's just oily goodness right there Jolene 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 little portion of olive oil Add in the guanciale. You see the fat just rendering now. You don't want it to be too high heat, right? So you want high enough where they start sizzling and then you want to turn it down a little bit more and just let the fat render. You have it too high, it's just gonna burn everything and it doesn't give the fat enough chance to, to melt. Put this in the oven, so I've got it fairly low on 275 and you don't need to keep it on for very long so three minutes and we're done so i've got to quickly do everything now because, because the cold carbonara thing is all about timing so this is done i need to quickly cook the pasta the confit has to come out at the same time because the only heat that you're relying on is on the guanciale as well as on the pasta so 
you know, it's like a mad rush to get everything together. It's fresh pasta, it's not gonna take very long. I give it about three minutes for it to cook. Okay, this looks like it's done. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, this is still hot. All right, I'm gonna mix it in with the guanciale. Oh, the fuck with the steam. Make sure you do not cook this, no flame. You don't wanna cook anymore. You wanna use the natural heat of the pasta and the guanciale to cook. And now I'm gonna put the egg as well. Sure, give it a good mix. Let the heat do its job. All right, we're done. Let's do this. Beautiful. A bit of guanciale on top. I think that's a decent size for the, for the egg yolk. Nice little hole for it. There you have it, tagliatelle, carbonara, with a bit of embellishment using confit egg. Mm. I love the carbonara. Un'altra cosa fondamentale è usare il formaggio giusto. Molti preferiscono il pecorino romano, altri preferiscono il grana padano. Io personalmente preferisco usare entrambi i formaggi. Maybe I can make better.